Hey everybody, Shane here, Shoebox Legends. It's a new month and that means a new dive into the That Good Sante Cream Cheese Box where I store a lot of my online pickups that are ungraded or just regular standard cards. Uh, love picking up these types of cards and as we always do, we're just gonna rummage here until we get to about the 10 minute mark. I have no idea what to expect. Most of these are new within the last year or certainly the last couple of years, uh, but I'm sure some of them I've probably outright forgotten about by this point. Uh, and before we get started, I'm not very good at self-promotion, but I do have a video that I'm putting up on Monday on the channel um, that you're probably going to want to check out if you love modern, shiny baseball cards. I'm really, really proud of uh, the little collection that I assembled and the video that I have coming on that. So just a little teaser there for next week. Uh, but in the meantime, let's dig in. Whoops, I got a couple of cards together here. Try to grab just one. And wow, all right, awesome start to today's video. This is a Topps Archives Mike Greenwell autograph. It's certified, you can see the uh, the stamp there in the corner. And this is sort of like a reimagining of his 1990 Topps card. Uh, as is always the case with these Archives fan favorites autos, this is an on-card autograph, nice giant bold signature there from Greenwell, and as a Red Sox fan, I have a lot of memories of this guy being a stud on the team growing up. Of course, uh, famously was robbed of an MVP by, I think, Jose Canseco uh, back in the late 80s, but a really fun guy to collect, and somebody who, you know, talent level relative to hobby prices is kind of attractive. So uh, I don't buy a ton of Mike Greenwell cards, but I have a few nice ones, and uh, this was probably like a $5 pickup, but I just, just really, really dig that card as a Red Sox fan, and of course, as a fan of all things 1990 Tops, which is the primary reason I was drawn to that. Mike Greenwell auto to start us off. And here, all right, awesome hockey card here. Let me get the little paper insert from ComC out of here. Wayne Gretzky, look at this card. So this is a retro throwback. This is from 2012 OPG Hockey. And it's a retro throwback of Wayne, and I think this little mark here uh, is just on the case so I'm going to take this card actually out so we can enjoy it a little bit better but I mean how can you not like this look at that blue background so cool this is I believe we're going to take a look at the number on the back yeah this is a short printed card number 600 so a lot of the veterans were higher on the checklist and short printed back in this day anyway uh, with Opeachy. and this is a card that you just don't see all that often. Um, you know, obviously it's not a playing era Wayne Gretzky, but um, I love the retro look. It's not designed on any one particular release. It's just sort of a general retro theme uh, from Opeachy, but just gorgeous. And that will be making its way into my uh, newly established Wayne Gretzky Z folio. So pumped to see that one come out of here. The greatest hockey player ever to lace up skates. And uh, let me get the tape off this one, but we have back to back Hockey cards here, and it's Andre Vasilevsky. This is somebody I've pulled out of the cheese box before. I think it was a black rainbow or peachy card or something. But in this case, this is an upper deck clear cut acetate card. These are just awesome. Been around for about uh, eight years now, something like that, seven or eight years. And uh, I just think, as I've said many times before, that uh, acetate is the perfect format for a sport played on ice. So uh, this guy is one of the top goalies of his generation multiple times Stanley Cup winner. I do think he has a shot at the Hall of Fame. And so uh, just scoop this one up on the cheap. Great goalie card there. Let's go into the center portion of the box and we're back to baseball. And uh, this card is a stunner. Uh, this is probably gonna go down as the best card. I, I can't imagine we're gonna pull anything nicer than this. Um, probably one of the nicer cards that's in this cheese box, period. I bought this in the off season prior to the 2023 baseball season. So probably about a year ago now, last winter, and got this, I remember at the time, for around $100, and I'm really pumped about that price. This is not a rookie card. I think this is, I'm gonna double check, but I think it's a second year. This is, yeah, 2019, so a second year Shohei Otani. Uh, but I love so many things about this card. First of all, it's team color matching red. Uh, here, this is a Topps gold label card, I should I should clarify. And as you can see, based on the foil background, it's a gold label class three. They do multiple designs in gold label. 
And I think class three is the rarest of, you know, the one, two, three tier, uh, but it's the red parallel. So it's team color matching. And also the red parallels you can see here are numbered to just 25. So this is, I would have to say, this is my lowest serial numbered Shohei Otani card by far. And then the last thing that I, I just think is insanely awesome about this card, it depicts him both pitching and batting. And I think that's, you know, just amazing. Great card. It's, it's exactly what he's known for. And the format of Gold Label with, with the dual photo, which is something that they kind of do every year in Gold Label, is just the perfect canvas for a Shohei card and to be able to illustrate his dual talents on one piece of cardboard. So just, I mean, I could probably go on about this one card alone until we hit the 10 minute mark, but just an absolute like ripper, as the kids would say, or banger, <laughs> just insane. Um, so, so happy to have pulled this. Maybe one that I will send off to PSA at some point. Does look like it's in pretty insanely good condition, and I think it would look great in that uh, red flip from PSA, and there's certainly enough value there uh, to justify doing some grading. So uh, yeah, the light is not doing it justice in that stand, but it's it's just a gorgeous Shohei Otani card. I mean, that's that's got to be like a top five Otani in my collection. And, and as I said, the best card that we're going to pull out of the, the cheese box today. So let's do the anticlimactic finale here. Um, pretty awesome stud soccer card here. Erling Holland. This is from the Topps UEFA Champions League release. And this is a star ball foil insert. Pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, just awesome. This guy's tearing it up in the Premier League again this year with Manchester City. Uh, guided them to the treble last year, winning the three major championships that they were involved in. Just an awesome feat. Also scored more goals for Man City last year than anyone in a single season in the history of the EPL, English Premier League. So great player, guy who I have a section to in my soccer or dedicated to in my soccer Z folio. And uh, really pumped to see that Holland come out of the box. Next up, all right, another baseball card. And this is a sneaky good one. Uh, Devers, Rafi Devers. Oops, let me see if I can get this receipt out. Who plays for my hometown Boston Red Sox and had another good kind of under the radar campaign in 2023. The team was terrible. Uh, they were basically out of playoff contention like the entire year. But he had a good season despite not having a ton of, you know, protection in the lineup. Um, you know, over the course of his career, he's seen... You know, the likes of Mookie Betts and J.D. Martinez and Xander Bogarts all leave town. And uh, he's been the lone man standing, signed a big contract to stay with the club for the next 10 years. Um, so he's really the guy for Boston, at least for the immediate future here. And this is his second year card from 2019. Topps Chrome, it's the blue refractor numbered out of 150 as the blues typically are. So really, really awesome Devers card there. I've pulled some other versions of this recently, and I have a page in my Devers Z folio going with uh, all different versions of this second year pose here, fielding pose. So that's going to look nice in that area of the Devers Z after today's video when I file these away. Let's keep going for another minute or two. Why don't we go all the way over to the left? We're going to take the last card out of the box, and this is a good one. This is a uh, little bit of a sneak peek or a preview of uh, what I alluded to that you're gonna to wanna to check out on Monday here on the channel. And I swear I didn't plant, I did not plant that card there on purpose. I uh, just figured we'd go all the way to the left edge for once, because uh, I typically pull from the middle of the box. But this is from 2022 Topps Gilded Collection. It's the Yogi Berra base card. And if you think this card looks beautiful, which it does, and you wanna learn a lot more about this set, definitely tune in Monday. But uh, great Yogi Berra, and I remember scooping this for just a few bucks. Really happy to have it. All right, let's go back to the middle portion of the box. We got a little more time here. We're going to finish with this card today. Check this out. This is a 2014, I believe it was Bowman Chrome card of Xander Bogarts. Now, that's his rookie year. Those of you that are fans of Bogarts or that were collecting in, in 2014 will uh, recognize. So this is a rookie year card, but it's an insert. And what they did with these, uh, let me take this out of the the top loader because there's a marker, uh, some marker on the back that's kind of making this look a little bit off, but here's the card. And so the idea with this insert set is they're made to look like the card is melting 
melting away. So you have Xander Fielding, and then you literally you have the you know what formerly was a rectangle card behind him, kind of melting down into the background. That was the idea, and this is a parallel of this insert. So they have the normal versions of these that are unnumbered. They look really cool. Uh, but this is an X-Fractor, and you can tell by that classic checkerboard design that's associated with the X-Fractor going back many years now. And I think this is going to be, a, yeah, this is a serial numbered rookie year card numbered to just 25 of my guy Xander. So this one is, honestly, this is probably too nice to go into the Xander Z folio. This is likely going to get the one-touch treatment one touch magnetic so just a sneaky awesome xander bogarts card there I've had this one for quite a while and uh happy to pull it today and get it assimilated into the collection proper so yeah only only eight cards pulled today a little bit less than normal but i think the quality coming out of the, the cheese box today was just beyond what we typically see so really really happy with that spread hope you saw something that interested you and i certainly value your time and appreciate you stopping by the channel here to listen to me gab away about uh, our great hobby. So that's a wrap for today. I'll be back very soon with some more content. But until then, as I always say, I hope you enjoy the hobby and take care.